Hello, 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 and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your favorite alchemist, the alchemy goddess. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. You are greatly appreciated. This is your daily tea and tell for Friday, October 29th, 2021. Today's energy in the hemisphere is all about Venus. It's about love. It's all about love, right? It's about showing love. <laughs> it's about falling in love, doing the things that you love, right? Um, it's a good energy in the atmosphere to, you know, do some self-care, some self-love, you know, um, pamper yourself, do, just do things that you love for yourself. It's a great energy in the atmosphere for that today. Um, as always, um, open is definitely having a lot of things going this fall, winter, a lot of stuff just coming up in general. So if you guys would like to donate, um, please do so. The, there's a link on my website at the bottom that says become open and you can donate that way or you can send cash app paypal venmo um you can send cash app to me or jack jackson his information is also down below um but yeah that is about it that is about it as far as open goes um don't forget there's still not a chance to purchase readings from my website until sunday okay sunday is the last day you'll be able to purchase readings from my website at 50 percent off Sunday is the last day. I will be going into a winter um, savings that's going to be a little different, but it will be available probably the first week of November. I'm not too sure yet. We're still in the fall, so I didn't want to wait until the last minute, so I might do it for December for the holidays. I'm not sure, but it's coming. Um, also, I did do more readings last night, so more people will be getting readings done today. If you purchased a reading in the month of September, I'm working on them. Please be patient with me. Um... I think that's about it for now. I got my spew out the way. Um, also, I would like to thank those of you who have donated to the channel. You are very much appreciated. You have no idea. When I saw the donations, I was just like, yes. And I didn't even, you know, I know you guys were just donating. You didn't put for open, but I put it aside for open because, um, you know, we do have a lot of things coming up that will need to be taken care of that we're doing for the community. So I didn't want to, you know, take that money for myself. I did treat myself to a um, cappuccino this morning made with oat milk. It was really good. I just, I normally drink water all the time and I treated myself to a cappuccino. I haven't had one in a really long time. But next week is back to my ginger and my beet juice shots. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started on this energy and the atmosphere. Um, see what's going on for the collective who are in Twin Flame Journeys. Y'all ready? Cause Friday's tea usually be hot. So I <laughs> hope y'all ready for today's tea. It's gonna carry you through the weekend. Um, I know Halloween is starting, but I do not celebrate Halloween. I celebrate the Day of the Dead um, and by honoring our ancestors who have passed and um, celebrating with my kids. We do dress up, but we do not celebrate Halloween. We celebrate Dia de los Muertos. So, for those of you who know, you know. Um, and, I, you know, it's, it's just something that I prefer to do. Halloween is definitely, you know... Cool. You know, you celebrate whatever you want to celebrate. It's your life. You know, live your life, please, by all means. But me and mine celebrate the Day of the Dead. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what energies are in the hemisphere. So, for all of you who do celebrate, who do celebrate Halloween, Happy Halloween for you. For those of you who do not, you know, it's all good. And for you, those of you who celebrate the Day of the Dead, Happy Dia de los Muertos. So let's go ahead and see what's popping. Right? Was cracking? Was shaking? Was moving? was baking what's going on for the collective in twin flame journey spirit what messages do you have today it's gonna be good because i can feel it i can feel it there's some kind of release some kind of forward movement all right spirit what messages do you have today for the collective who are in twin flame journeys bottom of the deck we have oh that card came out upside down too conclusion but it was in reverse so someone hasn't figured out something just yet. Someone is still trying to figure something out to see if something fits. It's about the way something fits. Someone's trying to figure out if it still fits. Spirit, oh, okay. Forgiveness. Pause. Is there any messages for the collective on the Twin Flame journey today? Thank you solitude so yeah someone's definitely trying to figure out if something if something makes sense anymore fifth dimension 
and stuck. Let me get these cards out the way. Okay, let's get the bottom of the deck energy. Someone's not speaking. Someone's not talking. Someone has nothing to say. They may not even want to see you right now because the mute card is here. But when I see this card, I always see, like, no face. So it's always like maybe they don't want to see you. And destruction, mirroring, fresh start. Mm, interesting energy, y'all. Real interesting energy today. Real interesting, okay? Um, we have victim, understanding, family, fall, dark night of the soul, and union. So these seem to be challenges. These seem to be challenges. Understanding one another, not playing the victim, family energies, fall, transitional kind of energies. And someone is definitely, you know, coming out of a dark place or it's a challenge for them to come out of a dark place. You know, I've been doing a lot of um, studying recently on dark energy and, you know, light and you know, dark energy, dark matter, as we all know, is 97% of the universe. The rest is only, the, the rest, 3% is only, is, is light. Or should I say, only 3% is light. And a lot of dark energy is feminine. It is. It is feminine. Like, it's not, it's not even a lot of it. It is. So, it's sometimes easier to place the blame on someone else than to acknowledge when you are wrong about something. And I feel like... A lot of times with feminine energy, that's what it's like. You know, we don't want to face our darkness, but the truth of the matter is we are dark energy. Like, feminine beings are dark. Masculine is light. And, you know, I know a lot of spiritualists go around with, you know, love and light, love and light, love and light. And feminine energy is not love and light. Feminine energy is dark and mysterious and it's dominating and it's you know it can be aggressive it can be scary it can be you know unknown it's a dark energy so i'm just saying this to say that this just feels like this is the feminine's energy i know usually we put this off on the masculine the masculine's in the dark energy it might be the feminine i do i feel that way like and there's a huge transitional phase going on right now with this feminine and a lot of it has to do with their family so it could be you and your kids okay it could be you and your husband it could be you and um your siblings your parents i don't know but it's a lot going on and a lot of transitional stages going on and i feel like you know you want some understanding or you're trying to understand more about this connection more about yourself you know and i just feel like you know, with the with this victim energy, with their hands being tied, it's just like, you know, you feel like the victim. You know, you put yourself in this victim mentality, this victim state, which gives you the dark night of the soul. And I feel like, you know, the challenge is coming together with someone, realizing this and coming together with someone specific who, quite frankly, may not even want to speak, right? Now, sorry, y'all. I have really big boobs and sometimes, you know, I need new bras. <laughs> Sorry about that. But we have forgiveness, pause, solitude, fifth dimension, and stuck. So, yeah, let's get some clarity on these before I run my mouth, okay? But I told y'all, today's tea is going to be different because I'm feeling different. I'm feeling different, and I had somewhat of a little awakening, y'all. I'm just realizing some shit, and it's going to be different today, okay? I feel like I've reached a new level of understanding of myself, and... Every time you reach a new level of understanding with self, it's like it's like a shift in consciousness, right? And I swear, I feel like that's what happened. As always, I did shed a few tears, but I'm okay. So let's go ahead and see. Let's get some clarity on these cards on the table. Spirit, please clarify these energies for the collective on the Twin Flame journey. Bottom of the deck is the King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries. Um... I'm also feeling like with this King of Wands, someone has a vision. Someone is ready to move towards their their dreams. They're ready for them. Like they're focused on them. They're focused on their passions. They're focused on what gets them excited. They're focused on what gets them moving. You know, I definitely feel that way. I mean, look at the look at him. He's staring into the fire. You know, and fire is passion. You know, it's about things that get you excited so i definitely feel like someone is is if it's not a leo sag or aries they're looking towards this this future this this vision that they have you know and this is where they're trying to go spirit clarify this energy of forgiveness 
what is this energy of forgiveness for the collective? Page of Cups. Yes, yeah, someone has an apology. Someone is apologizing. Spirit, clarify this energy of forgiveness. Will they be, will they be forgiven? King of Wands. It's a Leo Sag Aries maybe apologizing. Or someone wants to apologize for a better future. Seven of Pentacles. They're, they're willing to put in the effort. Seven of Swords Reverse. They're willing to put in the effort. Strength card. I'm telling you. Leo energy. King of Cups. Yo. A lot of feelings involved here. Okay? It's a lot of feelings with the page and the king on the table. Definitely got some Leo energy. And someone's just looking for the strength. Someone's just trying to stay strong right now. After revealing something that they've kept from somebody else. It's like someone is looking for an apology. Or someone wants to apologize to someone. About not sharing something. Someone needs forgiveness. Someone wants forgiveness after feeling like. See, we got the seven and the seven. King of Cups. I see. I feel like someone's asking this king for forgiveness. This person who may be not very emotional. They're a master of their emotions. They don't literally express them. But, you know, like I always tell y'all with the King of Cups, they have feelings, but they keep them to themselves. And they don't really share them. And if you push them to share their feelings, they will run. They will hide. So I feel like this King of Wands over here wants to apologize to the King of Cups. They want forgiveness from them. You know, and I feel like it's about something to do with lies, something to do with secrets, with the Seven of Swords reverse. Someone has lied about something and they're trying to find the strength or they're trying to stay strong throughout this. But the Page of Cups is definitely an apology. Definitely an apology. I mean, with it clarifying the forgiveness card, it's definitely an apology, y'all. Somebody wants an apology about some, some kind of secret or... Mm. Let's very clarify this energy of pause. Let's very clarify this energy of pause. We have the Six of Pentacles reverse. Something's on hold. Five of Cups reverse. Three of Wands reverse. Four of Cups reverse. Well, damn. And the Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It's new beginnings. Someone is going to put something is on hold for the, for, for the time being until something, something, a situation is on hold with you and someone else. It's on hold. It's not over. It's on hold. Why is it on hold? Because I don't feel like someone is rejecting you. But I feel like someone is just being really cold, you know, like being very straightforward with you. No emotion involved. Like they're not sugarcoating shit. This person, I feel like isn't looking to the future or they feel like you're not looking to the future. You're not looking beyond. You're not looking out into this vision that they have. And I feel like with the five of cups reversed, this person's tired of going backwards they're tired of looking at what has happened in the past. They want to move forward. But I feel like, you know, no matter what they give, no matter what they give them, it's not enough. And that's how this person feels. Like, it's not that they're rejecting you, but they feel like they can't seem to give you enough. Like, they can't give you enough attention or enough time or enough energy. So they have to put it on hold. And... And I feel like that has everything to do with the apology. With this apology that's coming with the Page of Cups. Someone is definitely going to tell you that they have to fall back. Because they don't want to go backwards anymore. They just only want to move forward. And maybe there's too much in the past. Too many wounds. Too much has happened. You know? And this person doesn't really see a future with you. Or they're not sure if they see a future with you right now. But it's crazy because the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So it's like this person is wants it. They want it. But they have to put it on hold right now. And I'm not too sure why. Maybe we'll get that as we go into the extended and clarify it. We'll get that answer. Spirit, clarify this energy of solitude. What is this energy of solitude, Spirit? Please clarify this energy. The High Priestess. Pisces energy. Spirit, clarify this energy of solitude. The Empress in reverse. That's Libra. And Taurus, the devil, that's Capricorn.
the death card that's scorpio and the ace of wands someone pulled back there may have been some kind of progress with this situation, but they have pulled back away from you. Yeah, they feel like it's too much, um, too many toxic, too much toxic behaviors. Things need to change. Or they're letting something end. They're, just, they're letting it end for a new beginning. They feel like maybe you're not the one. Or maybe you feel like they're not the one. And someone's just really trying to understand more. I feel like they're keeping this from you. Their, you know, this whole situation, their feelings, their thoughts. This person's not telling you that they're letting go. Or you're not telling this person you're letting go. Either way, you know, flip the script, right? Flip it how it resonates. But with these major arcanas, the, this major, these major arcanas, high priestess, devil, and death. There's an end to a very unhealthy situation coming up because it's just not growing and someone just wants to look towards a brighter future they want a new beginning i feel like someone wants to hand you a new beginning they want a new beginning with you but they want to leave that toxic shit behind they want to leave it behind i feel like they pulled back completely though with the knight of pentacles reversed like there was some kind of steady progress but it's not anymore like something has really put things on hold and someone has really pulled away from somebody else. Spirit, clarify this energy of the fifth dimension. Spirit, please clarify this energy of the fifth dimension. The King of Cups. That's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The Page of Wands. The Nine of Pentacles reverse. The Hierophant reverse. And the Fool. Five of Pentacles. So things are definitely in the process of changing right now with this situation, with this connection, whoever this connection is for. I feel like a lot of um, a lot of things are happen happening in 5D, though. Signs, symbols, dreams, a lot's going on and it's changing things. It is. I feel like someone wants someone wants to be free of something or independent. They feel powerless. They want a new beginning. They're not telling you this, though. I feel like there's some really deep feelings here and someone really wants to... They're very curious about what could happen with the two of you, but I feel like they don't feel powerful enough or they feel powerless right now. And they want to take that leap of faith, but they're just not sure. They don't trust in it. It's almost like they don't trust in it. They don't trust that this is going in a good direction. Like their whole mindset about this connection is very, like never gonna happen. Never gonna be good, always, you know, woe is me. It's interesting, y'all. Spirit, please clarify this energy of stuck. I can't wait to go into the extended because it'll give us a lot more detail. Spirit, clarify this energy of stuck. The sun card reverse. The Magician Reverse. The Ace of Pentacles. The Eight of Swords. You know why this can't move forward? This situation can't move forward because somebody won't leave something in the past. Someone will not leave something in the past and it's holding them back. Like if you'd like, look at this image of this card, right? Stuck. What do you think would happen if this person got out the truck? What do you think would happen if they just left the truck behind? It's old, it's dirty, it's broken down. Why the fuck are you trying to take this truck with you? I think the truck would, to me, symbolizes control. Because in dreams, when you're driving a car, the person driving, whoever's driving a car in your dream is kind of have some kind of hold or power over you. And I feel like whatever this is, it has to do with the situation that has some kind of hold or power over you. Leave it in the past. It doesn't make you happy. It hasn't brought anything good to the situation. You know, it's not helping you manifest this Ace of Pentacles you wanted with this person. It's just putting you in your head with the Ace of Swords. Like, this is something with the Two of Wands reverse. You need to leave behind. It's not serving any purpose. You, 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 you want the world. You want more with this person, with this situation. You're going to have to leave some things behind. You're going to have to get out that truck and leave it. Mm. Every, there's a lot of things delaying this new beginning. 
actions being taken, making bad judgment calls, coming in too quickly, not thinking before you speak, internal conflicts, letting go, stop trying to hold on so tightly and just let it go. Let it come to an end. It's a cycle. It's a bad cycle and it just keeps repeating itself. It's something that somebody truly needs to let go of, but it's internal. It's an internal conflict that someone needs to leave behind. All right, you guys, we're going to take this over to the extended and see what's going on. We're going to go into the um, journey to the divine love. What's the deal? Issues that need to be exposed and messages from the divine feminine, divine masculine, and the karmic. Um, not a lot of karmic energy in this reading today, but we'll just see what we can come up with, okay? If you guys have enjoyed this reading, thumbs up. If it's resonated with you, thumbs up. If it hasn't resonated with you, thumbs down. It's all good either way. I just interact so I'll know. Um, comment down below. Let me know how you feel. If you want to purchase a private reading, my website is www.alchemygoddess.love. That's A-L-K-E-M-Y-G-O-D-D-E-S-S-I-L-O-V-E. -S -S Excuse me. There is 50% off until Sunday. Sunday is the last day to get 50% off of my readings on my website. There will be a new special coming for the month of November and December. I'm working on it. But for now, Sunday is the last day to get 50% off, which is the most I've ever given. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'll check you into the extended. If you have not signed up for my Patreon, please do so. Link is also down below. Goddess tier will get you full access to all that is available on my Patreon. All right, you guys, I'll see you in the extended. And for those of you who I will not, enjoy your holiday. And I will see you on Monday, as always. Peace. <laughs>